Right. Okay. Uh, now, there's been an announcement that said that Telstra has been awarded a contract to plan, design, and construct the nodes. So I just want to understand what is in and out of the scope in this contract. Will Telstra be designing a fibre network from the exchange to each node location? Uh, Telstra and NBN Co collectively will be designing a fibre to the node network, yes, from the exchange to the to the node, yes. Okay. Will that fibre component be provisioned sufficiently for the subsequent full conversion to fibre to the premise from the node? Uh, I believe, again, Senator, part of the trial and we're doing um, at the moment is having a look at what our options are to put pond cards in the node. I think we've said that before. Uh, will Telstra be then subcontracting for the fibre construction component or will this be covered by MBN Co's existing contract with Silcar for fibre construction? Uh, Telstra will be subcontracting the construction. Will Telstra be choosing the cabinets or will NBN be doing this? NBN has chosen the cabinets. I think I've seen them. Uh, <laughs> now I understand from the hearing in Sydney that the Umina and Epping nodes are designed but not provisioned for vectoring. Will that be the case in the additional pilot sites? Um, no, the pilot sites. So I just want to clarify, uh, all the nodes we stand are capable of yeah, vectoring. No, designed, it's the card yeah. issue. It was designed, not provisioned, was how I described yeah, it. Thank That's you. how you describe it. So, the, so I'm just trying, will to, that be I'm the trying same, to get your answer on CCTS yeah, at the same yeah, time. So. No, that, so will that be the same? So will you be provisioning for vectoring in your 1,000 node site? Um, I'll confirm that we will, but I believe that is the case, yes. But I will let me confirm that back to you, Senator. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you aren't provisioning for vectoring, why would you not be provisioning for vectoring? I believe we are. You believe you are, okay. Uh, so does the contract with Telstra include connecting copper from the pillars to the nodes, or is it just standing up the node? At this, it's just standing up the node. Okay. Uh, under the sorry, con connect, sorry, it, it involves the, sorry, let's just move very clear on. It involves standing up the node and reticulating from the a copper from the pillar to the node. Yes. So you stand up the node and then you do connect from the pillar to the node. You connect from the pillar to the node, but you don't um, connect into it's it's the network yep. migration, not the customer migration. Yeah. yeah no. Agree. No, good. No, good. Under the contract, is Telstra or MBN Co. Is it Telstra or MBN Co. that will negotiate with power utilities to arrange power for each node site? Uh, MBN Co. Uh, have you done this yet? Uh, they are under. Um, there are some that are complete, and there are some that are still in the negotiations. The exact ones I don't know. It's part of my team doing it. Senator, we have more information on your minor, if you'd like. Great, please. So we've got four RSPs signed up, uh, Telstra, Optus, IDET, M2. Telstra has placed five end user orders. Great. Uh, so you haven't reached agreement yet with Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland Power Utilities, did you say? I said we're in negotiations. Work in progress. Yes, so work in progress. Understand that. Uh, is Epping a, uh, an experience uh, that uh, you're learning from, as in powering up the node? Um, Epping's an experience. We're learning that um, unmetered power without the need for a separate power box, is, um, a separate meter box, is uh, a preferred solution. And that's why we're negotiating with the So you need a separate power box next to the node? If you, if... To guarantee the sort of consistent... No, you don't. No, you don't. That's the whole point. No, I'm you asking. No, you don't. You don't need a separate power box. So you box. don't need a power box? Not when you have unmeted power. Right. And that's your preference? Yes. 